So, hey YouTube, hi my subscribers. Uh, we are here today <laughs> to talk about um, heritage. Um, I've got my two sisters, um, Aaliyah and Dorian here, uh, and Nick, which is one of my brothers, is sitting on the couch here, and I will. That's my boo. Um, yes, that's Aaliyah's boo. Um, we're gonna be talking about heritage, and I will be asking them questions, or they will be kind of introducing themselves and talking about, you know, where they come from. Uh, something that I'm really interested in myself. You guys know where I come from, even though I'm still digging into my roots, um, and I am looking more forward to letting you guys know more about that. So, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? I'm Aaliyah, and I'm Dorian. And are you guys able to tell me what you know about where you come from? Well, Taryn, we don't really know too much. All we know is our mom's side. We have Native American Blackfoot. We have uh, Puerto Rican. And we have, uh, what else, Leah? Black. Black. So African American. And yeah. Um, something else. I don't know. Geechee, which is Geechee. derived from the Virgin Islands. And on our dad's side, we have Italian, Irish, um, uh, Native American. We don't know exactly what tribe, but that's pretty much what we know for right now. Um, we should be digging into it later on. Okay. And have you guys met any grandparent, uh, old, old, old grandparents who were like full blood Italian or spoke certain of some of the languages that were the cultures that you guys come from? Yeah, we have. Um, our grandmother is full blood Italian. Uh, our great great grandmother is full blood Italian. Um, she's awesome. She definitely cooks all the dishes and definitely loves marinara sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so. And I'm sure she taught you guys some special dishes. Uh, I know. Oh yes. I learned many good dishes from some of the people my influences as cooking lumpia and cooking all the you know asian dishes and islander dishes so i completely get that oh yes so um other thing other than ethnicity wise and, and parents down the line um have you guys heard anything out of the blue that you don't agree that you don't specifically agree with or believe that you've been told other than as much as you guys have already told me um other than i know some people get told i know my my friend, she, she is part African and European and I told she was Native American, but she does not believe it. And she is in the process of doing a DNA test to figure that out for the truth. Have you guys thought about doing a DNA test yourself? Yes, we have. We've yeah, actually we thought about it multiple times because of the <clears throat> fact of the, di the amount of difference in, um, in each ethnicity that we've been told, you know what I mean? So. Yeah with all of that um it's kind of hard to believe most of what we are because of the fact that we don't know for sure and yeah and that's why we wanted to actually get the dna test so we can actually know for sure what we have and actually look at our heritage and study and actually we can go to different places and actually dig more you know and experience different parts of life that you know we haven't experienced yet like italy i definitely want to go there um ireland Mm -hmm. I want to drink with the Irish folks. <laughs> can Irish party. can drink. Yeah, they can. They can party too. So, oh yes. I've got Irish ancestry too. I might have some Italian ancestry. I'm not sure. I just know that I'm almost like 3% Southern Europe. So that's got to come from somewhere. Um, so um, I wonder where my Southern roots, Southern European roots come if I'm Spanish or if I'm Italian. I know I've got Mexican blood cousins that comes from my native side but um i'm not sure if that goes into spanish um so it's really be interesting to find that out mm -hmm. so yeah we don't really know for sure about a lot of the parts about us it's just sometimes it's kind of hard to deal with that stuff too because you get racial was it racial profiles a lot of times because people come up to you and say hey so what do you mix with but honestly, it really shouldn't matter. It mm. shouldn't. So, and plus, I mean, um, for it, it's very important for me to know exactly what my heritage is, so I can pass that like on to my son. Let him know, you know, this is what these are where your ancestors are from. These are what this is what this is who you are. Um, 
as a person so he can understand like what his what he comes from you know what i mean right and 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 i completely agree i, I do agree that it's important to know where you come from especially letting your kids know where they come from. That's why DNA tests are important. Even though they may not give you 100% of everything, they do give you a glimpse of what you, of where your ancestors started and where they came from. So you can kind of know where your ancestors' origin started. And it does kind of give you that glimpse of why you do the things you do, why you like the foods that you like, why you uh, may act the way that you do, because it really does connect a lot. So it is something that I feel even children so young as Isaiah uh, should know. You know. I feel basically if you actually take a look at your past, you can actually, you know, prepare yourself and understand your future a lot better because you never know where you might end up. And you'll probably, you never know, you could be in a different country and you could pass by some of your cousins. You never know. So it it happens sometimes. It does. It's actually a, it's a small world and you can go I know to Japan and y'all might have Japanese cousins you never really know um, um I mean in all honesty it, it is crazy how you can find people that you are related to all around the world yeah most definitely everybody needs to learn about their past because you could better understand what struggles they went through mm -hmm. how to fight for everything you have now because you you really never know some people actually look completely Caucasian but in actuality have stuff mixed with them. <laughs> well isn't that an interesting statement? Yes. Well, explain anything you need to explain. Oh, that's a great right? segue, hey, props. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Nick. Um, um, okay. I'm Sicilian and Mexican. Um Sicilian is Morse and Italian. Mexican is Aztec and Spaniard. Um well I'm an amalgamation of a bunch of different stuff. And I never knew my dad, so I'm guessing on Mexican, but any Spanish person will tell you that depending on what part of the country, in the United States at least, you are, determines what form of Spanish you are. In Texas, you're Mexican. In New York, you're Puerto Rican. In Florida, you're Cuban. It doesn't matter. If you're Spanish and you're in the area, that's automatically what people see, and that's what they're gonna label you as. Um, if you really care to know your history, um, look up the, the movement of people as a whole. Because um, as they, to touch on something that they said earlier, if you don't have roots, you don't have a future. Um, just like a tree, in order for it to grow up, it first has to dig deep to plant its foundation before it can grow. And is that all? Yeah, I mean, that, I'm not getting into it, Tanya. You got 15 minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I do thank you for, you know, speaking. And definitely I will get, you know, next time, you know, I get to see you, we will we will talk some more. And I will get your input some more on more topics because that was really interesting. Anytime. Anything else that you guys have to say at all? No. No. no, well, actually, yes, I do. Um, anything that you guys want to know about your heritage, definitely do that. Was it the ancestry? Yeah, DNA an test. ancestry DNA. Definitely do it me, if yeah. you're really interested in knowing your heritage and where you came from, your roots, anything like that. Just go and do the DNA DNA test because you'll never be you'll be <laughs> you'll be so surprised what you see on that piece of paper. Yes. You really will. And people don't understand. Like, you can listen to uh, many things that your parents tell you. Your parents can tell you many things, but that doesn't mean that they're right. A lot of them, a lot of parents aren't. So, um, they find just think, you know, find out for yourself. Until next time. Until next time. And I thank you guys so much for just participating. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Love do the kiss again. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone now. Thank you so much, Nick. Yeah, no problem, Terry. All right.